our pharmaceutical production plant in Varanish has been working on the pharmaceutical market for more than 30 years. We use different pharmaceutical equipment that meets the requirements and standards of GMP to produce our products. Last year, the management of our plant decided to improve the processes of production to optimize the operation of equipment. At the general meeting on the development of production, the leading engineer of the analytical laboratory proposed to upgrade the laboratory equipment. There was a need to equip the industrial laboratory for determining the composition and quality of the product with a new sample drying cabinet for research. The existing cabinet was technically obsolete and the manufacturer did not provide its service. The drying cabinet is designed to dry products and materials under laboratory conditions in the shortest possible time. I had been working at the plant for 10 years as a leading production technologist, and I was tasked with finding and buying a high-tech and modern drying cabinet, which would be made of high-strength materials, with a wear-resistant coating that would not allow the cabinet to be susceptible to metal corrosion. I embarked on a search. The drying cabinet had to have automatic temperature control and maintenance, with a temperature range of 50 Oc to 350 Oc. The laboratory engineer advised me to first contact the manufacturers of the equipment. They provide warranty service, drawings, instructions for use, install the equipment produced. I took his advice. I chose one company in Germany that produces laboratory equipment, went to their website, and wrote a letter, in which I indicated the desired parameters and the capabilities of the machine. I did not specify a particular machine, I wanted to see what they could offer me. A week later I received the answer that the laboratory drying oven they do not make, but can develop and produce it, at the request of the customer by the end of next year. That was too long for us, so I decided to look for other manufacturers of equipment. I found a company online from China that makes drying cabinet. I called them, and asked if they could deliver such equipment. They answered that they had such a machine. The manager asked for my phone number, and said she would call me back in the evening, when she checked with her company engineer about the capabilities of the equipment. However, she did not call in the evening, I contacted them the next day. The manager said she had forwarded the request to the engineering department, and she would get back to me, when she got an answer. This seems strange to me. When do I wait for an answer? How long to wait for an answer? Not a business-like approach to the customer L. After a series of failures, I gave up on finding a drying rack from manufacturers on my own. Then I remembered that at the Forum of Equipment for the Pharmaceutical Industry in Moscow, I met with a specialist who was engaged in selection and supply of laboratory equipment for the production of medicines. I found his business card, and before contacting him I decided to check whether he really deals with the supply of equipment for the pharmaceutical industry. In order to do this I found his website and thoroughly studied the information on it. I liked that the website was up to date, with video clips of the equipment and lots of contacts for communication. I also noticed that the website had been around since 2003. The company had been on the equipment supply market for a long time, and that is a good reason to say that it was successful. I called the manager. He said he remembered me, and was happy to hear from me again. I told him that I was looking for a modern laboratory drying oven with simple controls. He offered the option of a drying cabinet that is popular with customers, and has been proven in production. I agreed to consider it. The manager emailed me the passport and instructions for the equipment. He also offered to perform a turnkey delivery procedure. I liked the proposed version of the equipment, and I agreed it with the management. A week later we signed a contract for the delivery of the drying oven. A month after signing the contract, the manager called me, and told me that the equipment was ready, and would be delivered in a week. The machine was delivered according to the contract in a month days. It met all my requirements, digital indication of set and current temperatures, forced air circulation in the working chamber, ventilation with adjustable section. The cabinet was made of durable material. The working chamber was made of stainless steel with two lattice shelves. The working chamber was additionally protected by a door, made of transparent polymethylmethacrylate. The lab engineer, including myself, was pleased with the proposed drying cabinet. Choosing equipment for drying materials was not easy. I went a hard way, there were obstacles and failures, but I was lucky. I met a specialist, who solved my problems, gave competent advice, and left positive emotions from communication.